welcome back to Aunt Debbie's Boutique. We're continuing our series on holiday decor and we are going to make some Thanksgiving uh, potholders today. I'll give you the dimensions of everything we need so you can make your own or I will have a pattern available in my Etsy store uh, in a couple weeks if you want to go that route. Okay, first of all, we're going to need eight and a half by eight and a half inch piece of, I'm using Insel Bright. Uh, it is a heat resistant uh, thermal batting. You can use regular batting, but it won't protect your hands as much as this will. And this is what the Insel Bright package looks like. And you can get it on Amazon or in most fabric stores and I'll link it below. Then we're gonna need an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of fabric that uh, is going to be the backing for our pot holder. And I cut all of this out of the extra that we cut out when we did the turkey placemats. Remember when we cut this out in our last video? I used the leftovers of that to cut all these pieces out of. Then we're going to need an eight and a half by one and a half inch strip. Actually, we need two of those. One and a half this way, eight and a half this way. Then we're going to need a piece that is, let me measure this. It's five, I mean six inches across the bottom. It's three and a half inches across the top. And it is about five and three quarters inches tall. And it will have a slope on it, so it should be symmetrical when you fold it. Then you'll need two pieces that are about five and three quarters down, four inches across the bottom, and two and a half across the top. Two of those. You'll need a two and a half by two and a half inch square. You'll need a, for our binding, two and a half inches by the width of your fabric. I was using scraps, so I just pieced mine together. You'll need a one inch by four inch piece for our little hanger to hang it up with and need a piece that's two inches wide by eight and a half long. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is center our insel bright and um, I've cut this a little bigger than I needed to on the bottom fabric. And you can use the 505 adhesive spray to attach them if you want, but I'm just going to use a couple of pins. We're going to trim this to 8 inches by 8 inches when we're done. Okay, we want to come down about an inch and place... Our triangular black piece in the middle. I'm going to mark the middle on both of these. It's 
so hard for me to see at a weird angle here. Okay. I'm going to pin that in place. And this is going to be a quilt as you go pot holder so we don't have to come back and quilt it later. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to sew it there and open it up. And this piece, sew it there and open it up. Then this piece, I'm going to sew it here and open it up. Then this piece, I'm going to sew it here and open it up. And then I'm going to sew the bottom one on. So you can follow me on the machine as I do all these. Okay, I want to take out all my pins and give it a good steam press. And my iron's not hot enough to steam just yet, but that's okay. And you'll notice all my edges aren't even. Uh, that's why I made it bigger, so there was some room 
to trim. And the, the first thing I want to do is to trim this about three quarters of an inch from the that seam that goes across the top. And then let's make sure this is eight inches. And that should be about three quarters of an inch too, which it is. Okay, then we want to make sure that we have the center marked the top and the bottom, and then we want to go four and a quarter inches over from that center. No, I'm sorry, four inches. Now we have an eight inch square and we need to make our belt buckle. Not belt buckle, I keep saying that. We need to make our hat buckle. If you can't tell, this is a pilgrim's hat. I'm going to do it the same way I did on the placemats and uh, use a dryer sheet to help me turn my edges under. So I will stitch a quarter inch round in a square. I'll cut a slit in the dryer sheet and turn it right side out. And then I'm gonna go in about three eighths of an inch and stitch.
give it a press. And then I'm going to cut right up to the corner on all four corners. Then I'm going to turn them back and iron them in place. And then you'll see a few of our points are sticking out, so we're going to just trim them. Now, we want to set the belt buckle in the center and lined up with this line right here. And we'll take it over the machine and stitch on the outside and the inside. Now that that's done, we just need to put our loop on the back and do our binding. And once again, we're going to iron our binding in half. I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to leave about four inches and start sewing. When I get to a corner, I'm going to fold it at a right angle, then back down and continue on. I'm also going to make our loop by turning a quarter of an inch in on our four inch by one inch piece.
and then folding it in half and stitching it. Now we want to flip it over and use some clips to hold it in place. And on the corners, I'm going to miter them.
Now I'm going to take it over to the machine and top stitch or edge stitch right close to the edge. Because I like two of everything, we have two Pilgrim's Hats pot holders for Thanksgiving. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if so, would you please give it a like and subscribe. It helps me bring more content, sorry about the fly, uh, to you, and leave me a comment too. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, whatever you do, do it to the glory of the Lord.